What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to list your first item on eBay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go out, find you something to sell. You can either go to a retail store like I do, because I like to go and buy brand new items from, you know, major retailers, like Legos, all kinds of different toys. Once you find that stuff, you can go to garage sales as well, by the way, where I started, kind of where I really like to go but I don't always have time to do that. But you find your item, and then you're gonna wanna get that item and look it up just to make sure. When you look stuff up on the eBay app, there's actually a way that you can scan the barcode. And to do that, you just need to open up the eBay app, and in the top right corner in the search bar, there's gonna be a little picture icon. Click on that, and it'll allow you to actually scan that barcode. So after you've scanned that barcode, what you're going to want to do is look at the sold items and you can do that by clicking filter scroll down to sold completed sold items and then you're going to look at how many have sold that month because you don't want to buy something that's never sold and you don't want to buy something that doesn't sell too often because you're going to be sitting on it a while you want to look at a couple of things you want to look at what it sells for and how much you're going to be buying it for because obviously it's got to be profitable otherwise why are you buying it the other thing you want to look at is did it sell at auction and did it sell at best offer because if it sold at auction if it sold at best offer that does not mean that they actually paid for it and after you've done all that you've checked to see how much items are going for and the sold items you're going to want to look at active listings that'll give you an idea of what the market looks like now and you also need to check to see how many people are selling that exact item because if you're in a saturated market it's highly competitive and chances are you're not going to be selling yours anytime soon especially with zero feedback all right so you've established that your item is profitable, you've checked the sold listings, you've checked the active listings. Now you need to buy that item, take it home, and get started. So you're finally home, you're getting ready to list this item. Your next step is going to be taking photos. And that, that doesn't have to be like the hardest part either. I mean, honestly, as long as you have a solid background, don't take those photos on the couch or you know, don't, don't take it on the carpet, something like that. You know, you don't want to look gross. Me, honestly, I have a ring light that's what i use to take my photos you don't have to start there obviously i mean i've been selling for like five years on ebay so i mean but i i started with just the blue wall and a little bit of light so do what you got to do after you've taken your photos and they look good now you're ready to work on your actual listing first thing you want to focus on when it comes to working on your listing is going to be your title you don't want it bulky but you do want it exact and descriptive. so for example Say you're about to list this Ryobi non-contact infrared thermometer. That's exactly how you would title it. Read the packaging. Ryobi non-contact infrared thermometer. And then if it's electronic, look for a model number. Put that behind it. You don't need to have your listing to say fast free ship, US seller, package in hand. All that stuff is irrelevant. Unless you're in a collector's market. There, is a, there are certain scenarios where that actually does come in handy. If you're selling Japan exclusives or like country of origin exclusives that are really only found in other countries, that US seller actually helps sell your stuff faster. All right, so next step is gonna be your description. And that's really only gonna be of relevance if you're like selling a used item. If you're selling something new, chances are that person already knows what they're looking for and the packaging is pretty much gonna give them an exact idea of what they're looking at. All right, so after you've got your title, description, and photos now you need to weigh your item and you can you can get a scale on ebay for twenty dollars this is an example of what i've been using for the past five years on ebay i paid 20 bucks for this and i've been using it ever since so you're gonna want to weigh your item and then measure your item and if you can even find a box to put it in so that way you can put the dimensions and a description i mean really weighing the item and all that's not only going to give you an idea of how much you're going to make afterward it's also going to give you a little bit of an edge when it comes time to ship it you know it'll save you a little bit of time in the future really the last step when it comes to listing your item is boosting your item and i wouldn't recommend boosting your item unless you're in a competitive market if you go to list your item and there's really only three or four or even ten basically if there's less than one page of active listings you don't need to boost your item because if somebody doesn't have to scroll there's no point in boosting it they're gonna see your item all right guys i hope that was useful stuff
like I said, I've been selling on eBay for a little bit now, so maybe that wasn't enough for you. I, I guess I could go a little bit more in depth, but that's kind of what I've got now. I hope this helped you. Also, I watched this video over again. I'm not gonna do the recording over again, but I did realize that I had the camera like way too close to my face the entire time. So I guess like I'm not that great at YouTube. I'll work on that.